Hey there, how there, ho there. It's Jeff Cutter Diving Love from YouTube. Quarterfinal action of the Classic Soccer World Cup runners up, Tail Turdy. We have eight teams that have were runners up in real life in a World Cup tournament, and they want to win this tournament. Um, so, the eight teams still in it are the 82 West Germans, who lost the final to Italy, but they controversially got into the final based off of Harold Schumacher's tackle on Patrick Bellistone that knocked him unconscious. But Italy beat them in the World Cup. You got the 2010 Dutch team who are who lost to Spade in the final. Of course, Spade just had it there and the Dutch were trying to do total football and that made them the first nation to go to three World Cup finals and not win any of them. Uh, the 98 Brazilians, the team that looked good throughout the tournament, but then somehow in the final they laid an egg against the host French. But Ronaldo had an epileptic seizure and was not supposed to play, but Nike may have forced people's hands. The 2018 Croatians, who made a magical run to the final, beating England in the process, but anyway, they got beaten it up by France in the final, 2018. 2002 Germany, which had the goalie of Ole Kahn just be a magical guy for Germany, but then he made a few massive goalkeeping gaps in the final against Brazil. They faced the 2014 Argentines, who lost the final to Germany, <coughs> the 2014 version of Germany, that is. And, of course, you know, it was just brutal losing an extra time. And then you got yourself the 1954 Hungarians, the magical Magyars who were looking good. I mean, they beat England twice, and they looked like they were the world beaters. But then Germany came back from 2 nothing down to win the World Cup against them. And 1978 Dutch team. Not really the total football, because you know what? Uh, you and Craig did not play for the 78 squad, and they lost to Argentina in the final, in Argentina. So, anyhow, that's how we'll settle it. So, as always, we simulate the first week. Let's see what we got. We got a pair of 2 of two nothing lead, a one nothing, and a pair of 1-1 one -one ties. Hungary leading the Dutch 2 to nothing. the Magical Magyars. Are they going to move on to the semifinals? Orange and red. Uh, orange and white. Let's just play for the first half and it will be... Well, that game's over by every stretch of imagination. Three to nothing. So the 78 Dutch Canadians were one goal off of Grosses. Kosic with two Lantels. Their fullback even scored. So the Dutch... Who's boss camp? But anyway, the Dutch, yeah. You know, when you're in Quake gone, you knew that was going to be tough, but the 54 matchups. Move on to the semifinals. The other team that's winning the 2002 West German, the Germans against the 2014 Argentines. Let's just wait for the first half. And it's Germany up 2 nothing, uh, but they have three yellow cards, Balak, Schneider, and Klosa. Let's go to the final 10 minutes. Yeah, it's still 2 nothing. We're going to auto view the last... Yeah, I think we'll just end the match. Yeah, and the 2 2 Germans shocked the 2014 Argentines. One nothing on a goal by Oliver Neuville. So that is a tough goal. Third minute, Neuville scored. And then Argentina just couldn't score. No Messi, no Kunigaro. So the two best two Germans are in. Uh, let's go to 2010 Holland and 1982 West Germany. The Dutch do have the advantage on the road goal rule, but. 
happen if they, when they have to be at home. So let's go to the end of the first half, which is no score. Yeah, we will all of you the second half as well. the offer at Finlay. I don't know if that's a good move. The 82 West Germans could score in Holland and get themselves a chance. Van Bravo's already off for Holland. So Holland's in deep trouble. Down to 10 men. They do have the one goal. Which is the key goal. Plus Fisher out for Hoopresh.
50-cent, 50 on the clock.
the 85th minute goal by Hansi Müller, who just came in for Grigo, who was hurt. What a lucky break. But the Dutch did it themselves. They had five yellow card, five players with a yellow card, and Van Bommel, just before halftime, got red carded. So, yeah, they could have used Huntelaar. Wager, but it doesn't matter. So the older team has won three out of four. Now let's see what Croatia and Brazil do. Their quarterfinal. First half. Seems no score. So we will auto view the second half. Croatia does have the advantage on the road goal and would love to win this thing. out for Kulisic. They need that goal. Bing, bing. Yeah, they, Croatia needs that goal because they can tie it up and force extra time.
Red Peel. Well, it looks bad for Croatia. So we'll go to about 10 minutes. Brazil's going to take Croatia out. Two to nothing on goals by Ronaldo and Cesar Sampio. And Croatia I can't believe they got stunned. Every every younger team lost. 82 beat 2010, 98 beat 2018, 2002 beat 2014, and 1954 beat 1978. So we have four teams. Three of them from before the 2000s. That's a rarity. A lot of people said the younger team would have the better thing. But let's draw. And the draw we'll see Germ 82 versus 98, 02, and 54. So the oldest and the youngest will face each still left will face each other and the two others will face each other. Yeah, it'd be funny if the two German teams don't face each other. Brazil's got one, Hungary's got one. So if I were to make a Betting gamble, I would probably put the Magyars and the 82 West Germans in the final. That's my prediction. That it'll be those two countries. We'll have a semi final for you to worry about in the near future. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.